Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. So this is showing some sort of a change, a turn of events. This, this can even be an unexpected encounter with someone, but there's a lot of divine orchestration here, divine timing being at play here. Um, there's also an energy of positive changes happening here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, Water energy. The Ten of Wands in the reverse, fire energy. And we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So there's definitely an energy here of, you could have been dealing with someone who was very confused with that Seven of Cups. It's, there's this feeling here of someone who was very cautious and slow to make their mind up. Um, you could have been very patient with this person, um, but it's like you may have ran out of patience with the Ten of Wands being in the reverse that does show an energy of giving up on something. Um, because this person may have taken too long to decide or they could have just constantly left you feeling confused and you could have been looking for something more serious, more committed with that Hierophant there. So we are seeing someone who was unsure of their feelings or they had too many distractions in their life that this person couldn't really offer you something um, solid. You know, there's an energy of very wishy-washy energy on their side with that Seven of Cups. In fact, there could have been an illusion in this situation. You could have always felt confused by this kind of a person because this person doesn't know what they want or they just, they have a lot of uncertainty and there's a fear of making the wrong choice and so i do see someone could have kept you in limbo here because they're of the seven of cups energy very um confusing energy but it's like with the wheel of fortune um divine timing has been at play here and it's like uh, finally a situation is turning around here so it's like you're giving up on something and um you're getting some sort of clarity with the Hierophant there, that is, again, it's a lesson that's being learned here. Some sort of higher level of understanding in the situation. Um, but we are also seeing an energy of the tables turning with the Wheel of Fortune being there. This is the kind of situation where no matter what you did, if you overgave, if you undergave, there's an energy of it wasn't in your control anyway. You know, the Wheel of Fortune shows up to remind us that we don't have control. We can't control other people. And there is an energy of just having to... Um, leave this situation be because divine timing is at play here okay so let's clarify these cards Aries Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So there's an energy here of connecting or getting something in return. It's like the universe is paying you back. There's someone here who's going to be very generous towards you. And there is an energy of you are attracting some sort of a commitment or a relationship, one that's fair, one that's equal in nature. There is an energy of someone here being very giving towards you. And this is your good karma because there's an energy here of you having given a lot to someone who was um, you know, they may have been very uncertain and there's an energy of it could have been one sided. But, um, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune there and the Six of Pentacles, it's like car you're, you've accumulated good karma there. So I do see you getting getting what you gave out. OK, so let's see. 
Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, Water Energy. The Ten of Cups, Water Energy. And the Two of Wands, Fire Energy. So it does look like you are attracting a relationship. With the Ten of Cups being there, there is an energy of attracting a long-lasting, emotionally fulfilling, committed relationship. And it does look like this next relationship is with someone who could actually end up being your spouse in the long term. Some sort of spiritual connection there. But it's going to be a, a grounded, solid one. And this person will be sure about you. This person will go out of their way to make you feel loved. There is an energy here of... Um, you attracting a, a generous giving kind of person here yeah? um, and someone who's who's not uh, um, confusing or they're not confused themselves um, with the nine of cups being there it's like this is coming after you release something you let something go and you become okay with you know if there's this feeling of being okay with yourself feeling content pouring into your own cup you know accepting that something maybe wasn't meant to be and when you are in this nine of cups energy this is a great place to manifest from because i do see you manifesting a, a real healthy committed relationship from that place and there's an energy of it's very much like a, it has a lot of um long-term energy there and with the two of wands there is an energy of this could be someone you travel with this could be someone who there could be something different about them. They could be of a different background or it could just be an energy of learning from each other as well, being exposed to new things. But your love life is, you're seeing some positive changes in your love life. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Aries. So the card says the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So there's definitely an energy of your luck changing for the better in your love life. A difficult period is coming to an end. Things are starting to get easier for you. You are attracting better people and there's an energy of, um, you know, a difficult situation where you may have felt like you were trying but not really getting anything in return there's an energy of you're finally reaping the rewards the, with that karmic um, wheel of fortune energy okay so i'm gonna put another card for you aries So the card says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there's definitely an energy of someone who you were connected to, who was unsure of you. And th th things were almost like one-sided. You were giving a lot. You may come to realize that, um, you know, there's someone better for you. Because there's this energy here of keep an open mind. Don't close yourself off to someone who is, you know, for someone who's unsure of you. There is an energy of the universe is sending you someone who's a generous giver, someone who's capable of commitment, and someone who will be sure of you, someone who will really give you the Ten of Cups here. Okay, so I'm going to find another card for you. Three. So the card says lilac first emotions of love love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat okay so there's definitely an energy here of um you know moving forward um there's something you could have felt initially very drawn to you could have tried a lot in that situation but there's an energy of needing to um allow love in because i do see there's some there's some sort of a new connection i'm seeing someone here you're leaving behind you're giving up on them but as soon as you give up on that, there's something better here for you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.